again, this is a double or nothing quiz. So Dylan, you've been, both of you got perfect scores on the last quiz, okay? Let's say you get a two, your grade is going to drop 0.02 or 3%. I already did the figures as kind of like a test. It's not really gonna affect you. If you get a zero, the lowest I'm gonna let you guys get is a two. But that doesn't mean just screw around. I still want you guys to try and take the quiz. Like, ha, 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 I got a two anyway. If you got a one or a two last time and you get a three, this is your chance to overwrite that two or, or that one or two with a three. So it's a design to help you. If you get like a, if you got a two and then on this one, you got a one, you can't go lower, okay? It will just match your highest, okay? Does that make sense? All right, so you may begin. Good luck. And again, international students, they are taking the quiz. Uh, I will be back, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go over the quiz. There'll be another pause, but I wanted to go before we go over it. We're gonna have another quiz. We're gonna have the practice AP on uh, Friday. It's gonna be between 17 to 18 questions. And the reason why, probably that, because that's the amount of time you guys get 90 minutes for 40 multiple choice questions on the AP. So I'm gonna just give you 17 questions, okay? All right, and there'll be multiple choice questions. Now, here's the thing. There's a good chance this won't be graded, okay? This is to kind of just see where we are, all right? Okay, for a few of you, like there's a couple of you in this class and a couple of you in the next class, I really want you to take it seriously. Uh, because like, for example, Dylan, I think you can get a perfect score on the AP exam. I would love for you to do it. Okay. Especially because they've dumbed it down this year. You've been, I think you have a good shot too. Guys, it really means a lot to have to go in with distinction. Okay. Distinction basically means you missed one point or less. And I think you two, like you two, Gary, I also think you're up there. Thanos, I think you're up there as well. Okay. That and I uh, guys, everybody else in here, I think, is are very strong programmers. Okay. But the only thing is, like, obviously, there's people that stand out a little bit more. It's not that you're bad. Like, you know, everybody knows Dylan's just a nerd. Okay. Everybody agrees. That's fine. Okay. Dylan, you're okay with that, right? I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> so, I love it. Lisa. You're great, Dylan. Okay. But there's some people I think I really want you to shoot for it. So slow down when you're taking this exam. Okay. Now, again, I'm, I don't think it's going to be graded. It's more for me as a teacher to kind of see where you guys are. Okay. And just see what we need to focus on. Cause what we're going to spend, what I'm going to have you guys do is we're going to finish up recursion, go over it. And then we're going to spend Thursday or Wednesday and Thursday going over uh, searching and sorts. Now, again, the good thing with searching and sorts, you don't have to write them. You just have to know about them and how they work and how to find the feature. Like, wait, why is this a, why is this a selection sort? Why is this an insertion sort? Why is this a merge sort? There's also something called a bubble sort, but you don't have to do that. Okay. We don't have to worry about bubble sorts. Those are the easiest sorts that you can have. Okay. So that being said, Okay, I'm going to pause for my international students right now because I'm going to go over the quiz. Okay. 